and he's always has to have your your story you should read at all times it's hard it's it's not it's not easy being a man or a woman and believer in christ it's not easy you you don't get you always going to get challenged but you just have to stay tough and stay strong and stay benjamin have, have you got any challenges like or or any like tests like going your way firsthand since you've been like you know uh, doing music and, and been on the fourth forefront on the battlefield um i would say you know you get tested by i'm going to say like um sometimes the opposite sex will try to tempt you but you have to stay slow focus, especially if you're in a relationship. Like me, I'm in a relationship. Transform You Radio. You are now tuned in to Transform You Radio. You hear me? Check. I stand for what you stand for. I'm at your door like the landlord. I can see the future. Yeah, I fast forward. I get on the mic and I transform. Follow me. I'm in rare form. Follow me on this world tour. The asteroid that you can't avoid. Small changes make impact. I ran for it. I stand for it. I'm not sitting back. You can leave the rap race or you can leave the trap. Come with me. Let's rap. Take a trip and we pack. And we'll be right back. Yeah. Come with me. Let's rap. Take a trip and we pack. And we'll be be right back. It will be right yeah. back. I stand for what you stand for. Uh, hey, yeah. I get on the mic and I transform. Yeah. Follow me on this world follow tour. Me. The follow asteroid me. that you can't avoid. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. My kinetic PE mix listeners and heads out there, you know, I want to welcome you and and I want to ask you, have you ever felt that tension, that pull between creating music you love and staying true uh, to your faith? You know, for so many artists, especially young Christian musicians, finding that perfect balance can be a real struggle. You know, I know I felt it. Well, today we're tackling that head on. It gets messy, right? It gets confusing. Sometimes we wonder if it's even possible to create music that's both authentic and honors God. Guess what? You don't have to choose. Our guest today is a shining example of that. He's a talented artist with a deep faith, and I'm so excited to learn from his journey. I'm talking about Eliza James Jones, also known as Sir Elijah. He's an amazing artist, amazing musician who puts God first. Get this, his newest single, the 23rd number song, is blowing up. It's proof that you can inspire people and connect with your faith through your art. So buckle up, Connected PE Mix family. Elijah's going to share some real talk about being a musician that, you know, we put the Christian in front of it, but he's still a musician. The challenges, the triumphs, and most importantly, how to stay grounded. If you're an artist, if your faith is important, get ready because this the one's for you. Welcome to the show, Elijah. Thank you for welcoming me, uh, DA Potential. I appreciate you. My name is um, yeah. Thur Lodge. I'm from Kansas. And I also play the acoustic guitar as well. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I didn't get a chance to, like, you know, um, sample all of your music, you know, but the 23rd number some, like, stood out to me most, man. And, uh, and I love that one um, because it, it, that one resonated with me so personal because uh, that's the one that my my grandmother you know uh god bless her you know um uh, you know i uh, mean she she continued to rest uh in uh in glory with uh with the father you know uh she she would like say you know you gotta read that one you gotta read that one if, if, to get through get through all your all your troubles all your struggles uh and she you know and so that's the one i turn to all the time so uh, but yeah, I didn't know you played played the guitar, man. That's 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 something I'm trying to trying to pick up. I've been <laughs> trying to pick that up. <laughs> yeah, so it's that's hard. <laughs> yeah. So I, how long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, I've been playing it for uh, two years now. I, I believe you can learn pretty fast. I believe. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I'm I'm really glad that that um that that scripture Psalm 23 stuck out with you, man, because oh that's a powerful scripture, man. And sometimes it even make make you cry. Like I remember. When uh when I when I first was trying to make this song, 
And mm-hmm. it just made me broke down because it showed you, like, no matter what you're going through, like, those hard times, and those dark times, God, he'll always be there for you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and it, it, so was was that particular song, you know, like, did, did, did that one, like, was you know why that one? You know why that why why that particular that particular scripture out of out of like I mean there's so many scriptures you could have picked. Why that one? Yeah, I actually have. I'm actually working on a gospel uh, album pertaining different mm-hmm. scriptures, and that was the one that stuck out to me first. That was actually going to be the first song on the gospel album. Okay, and it just really resonated with me uh, the most. It was one of David's songs that he had created yeah. for God. And that one, man, it's just, <clears throat> it's very healing. I just feel like that one would help a lot of people, especially in the world today. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. There's a lot of Christian musicians struggle to find a balance between their art and their faith. And, you know, we, we seeing it, you know, uh, today, you know, especially like in uh, popular culture, uh, we see a lot of, um, Christian pastors uh, doing a lot of crazy things now, like even in the summers. Um, could you describe like how you have, you know, if you ever like personally faced this challenge? Oh, so for me, um, I actually started out as just a, a rapper who was just making positive music with no cussing in it. So mm-hmm. it, it was a lot easier for me to transition from from that to a Christian artist, because I wasn't even cussing in music anyway, so I was just yeah. making po- positive music <laughs> and presenting like peace and harmony. So it was a lot easier to transition. But uh, I think for for some people, like let me give an example. I want to say like Boot Gang, like how he, but he doesn't make Christian music, but how he like did all the bad stuff, you know. But he still got saved, and I mean that's that's good. But I don't know if he got saved for like a publicity stunt or if he really got saved to get saved. That yeah. that's just the only thing I don't know about that. Like if it was real. Yeah, yeah you you got a lot lot of people like you know questioning that you know so yeah and that 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 was that that, that is a big uh, thing that's that's that was trending like most recently. Uh, and, and when you, you know, and I, and I hear what you say, like, you know, the, the transition from uh, positive rap uh, to, you know, to being a Christian musician would be like real, like real easy. Like, I, I, I think of people like uh, J. Cole, you know, I, you know, like uh, Will Smith, you know, like, you know, like I, I, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, even. I mean, we can we can go as far as like you know if you if you start taking some of like the cussing out of like Kendrick Lamar music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like imagine imagine if those people like started talking about God the way they rap about the world. Yeah. Oh man, it'd be it'd be real good. Uh huh. Yeah, and we we was talking before we uh, before we started, you know, about like you know how how I'm trying to make that transition right now, you know, because um. You know, you know, I, you know, even in my music right now, I don't, you know, I don't really use a lot of explicit language. Um, I mean, I, I got, I got some songs out there that, like, you know, are explicit, but, you know, I'm really about to start making that transition. And this next EP I'm about to put out, there's no, no cussing, no explicit language at all. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping, you know, you know, God give me, God give me the strength, you know, that like maybe the next one after this, you know, I can I can go full blown Christian, you know, uh, with the support of um, uh, of, of my fans. So, oh man, it's good that you say that. So during this transition, you get to see like who's really real too, because you're gonna lose yeah. it during this transition, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's that's what I'm, I'm anticipating. I know that, um, but but I also know that like you know what you lose, God also replaces. Yeah, that's what I was know. about to say. Yeah, I was gonna say those aren't the uh, the real people for you. You want the the people that God has for you. 
Yeah. Well, but like, did, did that happen to you? Like, you know, when once you, you know, just said, oh, okay, you know, you know, I'm just going to start doing this 100% for God. Like, did you like find yourself like just picking up, uh, you start seeing like a, a lot of new people, you know, popping up and then, you know, before you know it, you got this, this brand new ministry. Um, I was going to say that, uh, some people thought I was already a Christian rapper. That's what my, my, video, my videographer thought I was already a Christian rapper. I'm like, oh, I was already a Christian rapper, but okay. Yeah, I was like, okay. So I guess, you know, when God has something for you, it's, it's already uh-huh. for you. And I, I didn't know people already thought that. But yeah, that's what my videographer said. Because uh, the first video I did, it was a song called Rose. It wasn't even a Christian uh-huh. song. It's a positive song. Uh, like spreading peace and harmony. And he thought I was yeah. a Christian rapper there. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, huh. Because they didn't have no cussing in it or anything. And it was like clean. Mm-hmm. And I was like, huh. But oh, I was going to say for you, uh, it's not too late for you to transition at all. And I was going to say, yeah. you could always, um, if your distributor is like TuneCore or something, you could always remove all your music out of stories if you want to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did not, you know, yeah, I didn't use TuneCore, so I, I don't know. It's going to kind of hard to scrub from that old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what steps do you need? What's the um, receiver game? Uh, so I, I, I use two different distributors. Like, uh, I use United Masters, mm-hmm. and the and the other one I used was, uh, who was? Uh, yeah, United Masters. Yeah, United so. Masters? Okay, I've never used United Masters before. What's what's that one like? Is that one pretty cool? Yeah, they they, they are right. You know, they they you know they, they all have the you know the the negative sides. Um, I, I know with this new this new this next EP, I'm not using no distributor. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use something that's non traditional. Um, because you know some of these DSPs, they you know they're not really playing the game the correct way mm-hmm. and um there's there's a you know there's an alternative way to you know control control your music and control like you know how your royalties are you know um coming to you and, and i mean that's a whole other conversation <laughs> <laughs> i understand <laughs> yeah so you know i yeah, it's it's just a shame, you know. Um, it's it's really, you know, greed greed is really, really terrible uh, in this world. So, you know, um, and it's 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 unfortunate that like the only way you get visibility is by uh, using these these greedy platforms, you know. So, um, but you can still you can still get visibility if, if you truly want to be independent. You can still get get visibility. You know, but you just got to grind hard, you know, so, um, you know, and uh, there's other ways to do it. Um, and, but for you, you know, you know like you, you seem to have uh, kind of discovered uh, that, like, you know, just utilizing the, the, the father, you know, like, you know, let's let's talk about like, a, like how is is resonate with, you know, with, with the listeners, you know, um, you know, what? What's what's some ways that like young believers, you know, who are also wrestling, you know, who, you know, like with this, like, you know, what what what's some ways that they might be able to like kind of overcome this, you oh, know, like, overcome, like uh, trying to make Christian music instead of the other kind of music. Yeah. Oh man. So really, um. I know, like, there's a lot of content and everything, and a lot of, like, programming with how the world, like, wants everybody to think, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, really what could help help them is really just staying focused. Oh, and distractions. Oh, and really reading the Bible. Actually reading, yeah. reading the Bible, like, 30 minutes a day. I've actually, um, I've listened to the Bible with the app one whole time, and then I've read the Bible one whole time, and um, I still have to read the Bible 30 minutes a day, though, uh, just, yeah. to, just to stay connected with 
with Jesus for real. Because the more you dive deep and the more you learn about Jesus, the Bible, it like it like talks to you, like it like feeds your soul. And um that's the thing, people aren't feeding their soul. They're like going to church and stuff, but you need you need more right. than and the more you're able to feed your soul and um understand God, understand what he wants you to do, um, the better relationship you'll be able to build with him. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, yeah, because I yeah, I, I feel that too. I, yeah, because I, I I discovered I, I discovered that like you know because I, I got the Bible app on my phone and and I, I would do I would do the Bible plans and and I you know I would listen to the Bible and and I thought I was getting fed that way and it wasn't until I I, I started like attending. Uh, a small Bible, a uh, small uh, man's group, small Christian man's group, like like once a week on Mondays, mm-hmm. and and then we would take these like deeper dives, and like on um like once a week into like you know what we what we kind of what we kind of got out of the, the sermon on Sunday, and and then I realized like man you know there's there's actually actually like more benefit into like. You know, actually taking a more deeper dive on your own. You know, um, I mean, in, you know, on your own, like outside of like just like listening. You know, to like the Bible plans, and and just letting letting the the, the Bible app read to you, and and then being fed on Sunday. You know, you you still have to actually like do some additional deep di- deeper dives and and kind of cross reference. You know, uh, between like some some of the stuff that that you know the Bible app is teaching you what what the pastor on Sunday is teaching you uh to, to kind of come to like you know what God wants to say to you personally. Yeah, that is true. You know, so this because there's always personal application. And um and, and and I think with with music especially like when you when when whenever you want to put something out there everybody's going to resonate with it in their own personal way. And, and what I, what I respect about what your, what your music is people, 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 people can, people understand the message of like Psalm 23, but, but when, when they, when they hear, hear organized and compiled the way that you put it and, and then they hear, hear your voice and and then you got the visual too you know to go along with it you know sometimes people need the visual you know sometimes people need to hear hear a voice you know sometimes you know sometimes people need to hear a rhythm you know so that's important you know that's very important so it it allows people to go back and and then go back and and actually do the reading and 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 then go back and and um and and get an understanding so, so that's music is important, you know. So, you know, so, you know, so, so what, what, what do you think will happen if artists don't like maintain that balance between music and their relationship with God? You know, like, um, you know, what do you think is the ultimate cause of this? Because, like, we 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 seen what what brother Mace what brother Mace is doing, <laughs> so. <laughs> so we, we don't really hear from what you know what he what he say about this, but you know what you know like he, he don't do music no more. He doing podcasts now, but you know what do you think? I was gonna say, uh, you know, sometimes people turn to their heart, and when you turn to your heart, that's when you get led by the wicked ways, you know. Uh huh. Instead of uh, staying connected with God, and like. When God starts to elevate you up, that's when you got to stay connected the most, man. Because then the devil's going to uh, keep on saying, like, even bigger distractions. And the game gets even bigger because um, it's distractions on each level. And that could be with women. That could be with coworkers, employees. It could be anything. And you just always have to have your, your sword and your shirt ready at all times. It's hard. It's it's not it's not easy being a man or a woman and believer in Christ. It's not easy. You you gonna get you're always gonna get challenged, but 
You just have to stay tough and stay strong and stay vigilant. And have you got any challenges like, or or any like tests like doing your way firsthand since you've been like you know um, doing music and and been on the for, forefront on the battlefield? Um, I would say, you know, you get tested by. I want to say like, um, sometimes. The opposite sex will mm -hmm. try to tempt you, but you have to stay sp focused, especially if you're in a relationship. Like me, I'm in a mm -hmm. relationship and I have a fiance. So uh, I pay attention to that and I focus on that. And the one great thing that I love about my fiance is that she keeps God first too. So that's what really, uh, that's what really helps us is when we focus on God and then we, we focus on each other. Yeah, just keep God first. That's like the biggest thing. And that's kind of like my message that I actually that I actually spreads to always keep God first. I like that. And I like I like the fact that you said fiance, man. There's there's a lot of people nowadays they they they, they want to uh continue down that path of boyfriend, girlfriend title. And um and usually that's uh that's that's the path of destruction because you know, if if you're not focused on the on the journey towards marriage, you know, you're going to keep, you're going to keep like bouncing from bed to bed. And, um, that's, that's just, that's just not the way that's just not cool. You know, I decided, I, I decided myself like last year that like, yeah, you know, just that's not for me. That's not, that's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, so th thank you for like, you know, saying that and putting that out there. You know, that's really important. Oh, you're welcome. And if I'm not sure if you have a significant other or not, but man, I feel like uh, personally, like if you don't have a good woman already, that you you gonna get a great woman, man. Like if you don't have one, cause I feel like I feel like you want change, and I feel like you're willing to put in the work for God. I feel like God's gonna use you, man. Yeah, so I'm I'm definitely uh, staying open for the uh, well. I don't even think that's the, the the right right language for for it, but it's it's not necessarily staying open. I think is uh, staying uh, getting ready uh, for uh, God to uh, put me um, uh, in a position, put me in position, put me. Well, I'm in position already. You know, God God has already put me in position. I I, I think. Um, God is uh, creating a woman, um, you know, uh, getting getting the woman ready uh, to to be uh, uh, right here for me. So, mm -hmm. man, man, we're supposed to meet for a reason, man. Things happen for a reason, for real. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know, so um, yeah, this is this is truly. Uh, a blessed moment right now. So, uh, you know, for those who are out here uh, who are listening, you know, uh, yeah, this is this is a special treat for you guys today. You know, um, I truly hope uh, you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. You know, you know. What, so, besides, you know, what we've been talking about so far, you know, what, what have you learned about finding healthy ways to uh, integrate your faith into your music without uh, compromising either one? Yeah. Oh, like healthy ways and to put it into my music? Yeah. Oh, so me uh, as an artist, I'm the uh, the inspirer and the lover. As an artist, that's my archetype. So I inspire people and I motivate people. That's like by just giving like sometimes motivational messages. And um, so by the, the lover, songs dealing with God on how much we love God or just like in relationships with one another like uh it could be like me and like my fiance or anything yeah. and um like one song I'm actually doing two songs this weekend at the studio uh one song yeah. called it's more like an upbeat song it's called uh, I got God with me and then the second song it's more of like a slower song it's called heavenly face oh, yeah. And those are gonna be some great songs. Yeah, I'm gonna be look. I'm gonna be looking out for you. Um, for the album, man. Um, I, I, I definitely gonna be looking out for it. 
um, it's, uh, it's, I think it's imperative that uh, we, we have uh, more more music that uh, nurtures the soul because uh, we we are saturated with uh, so much uh, music that is the opposite. <laughs> so, uh -huh. um, I, it, it, when we talk about, you know, I, I know, we, you know, uh, we we going, you know, keep going back to this, but, you know, just just your turning point, you know, um, what was, you know, you know, what was your turning point, you know, um, perhaps like that moment where you realize a new way to like approach this balance, you know, you know, like, was there an exact turning point, you know, where, you know, like it, it just, it, it just clicked on for you? Um. I know I was like playing the guitar. And then, uh, so during when I stayed in Little Rock, Arkansas, I had stayed there for three years. And when, yeah. had, when COVID had happened. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, to make a long story short, when I was in college, a guy actually had saved me because I thought, like, uh, when I was in college, I thought that um, the seven chakras and stuff was like worshiping God, you know? And I had gotten yeah. off to that. And I remember uh, one time when I was in a dorm room, I was I had did like a meditation and the light was on. And then I had looked to my right and then I saw this dark shadow figure. And then uh, I, I put my hands on the cover and then the, the dark shadow figure was gone. And I remember um, I had uh, like slept with the lights on. And then my roommates, uh, well, he was the one who had showed me it, the third eye chakra. I thought that stuff was like worshiping God, but it wasn't. And yeah. um one of the roommates over he was like uh, that's what you get for messing with that stuff <laughs> and, and I thought that stuff was like worship from God and then so I kept on doing that stuff I remember one time I was at home and uh, and I had did it and it was like nighttime, and I, like, I felt like dark shower figures like around me but I couldn't see them so I, I couldn't sleep and so I was still doing that stuff and then uh Whenever I moved to Little Rock, I was still doing that stuff. But I was, like, away from the church for a long time. And I actually went to a Christian college also called Ouachita Baptist University. And so um, so I was, like, still into that stuff. And I remember um, this woman had invited me to church. And then I started to go to church again. And then I started to uh, dress better. I started to look better. I started to take care of myself more and then uh i realized that god was uh bringing me to him and the people that i used to connect with there they uh they started to disconnect with me i started to change god started to uh to save me and i started to realize what uh what false power was and what fake power was I, mm -hmm. so that was a good experience for me to to actually get to see like what real power is and what fake fake power is, because one thing is uh when you fall when you fall down, um when you're doing that kind of stuff when you fall down you fall you fall hard there ain't no solid ground, but um when you fall with God there's solid ground so you don't really fall you always stay where you are because He always has that solid ground for you He always picks you up, but that was um that was a good experience for me and next how I was able to uh, to really transform through the darkness into the light. Um, yeah. Man, hey, I, I'm lit up right now because I, I can definitely, like, resonate with that I, on so many levels because I, I went through that same, uh, same uh, transition in my life, too, uh, where, where I was uh, so heavy into that New Age stuff. And, and um, and, but like the one thing I did not let go of was like meditation and and, and, and trying to like uh, tap into like you know, all that to just oh heal yourself chakra heal your your, your head crown <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know and I'm thinking that like oh you know well I'm just finding oneness with with the divine finding oneness you know, like and you know and um unfortunately society is so so heavy in, on that and 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 push push that on you and and you think you know you, you know it's just a device of the enemy to you know make you think that like you know it's it's okay but really it's not and and you know and i had you know had almost a similar experience you know um 
it where where you know where I had to fall flat in order to like kind of realize that like you know this stuff is just you know it's it's no good it's you know um it's it's nothing compared to like you know the love of God and and, and the power power the true power of God you know um it, you know it's 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 fake you know it's fake it's fake gospel it's fake God you know so it's a, you know it's a, um I heard someone. I heard someone once say that like it's a, uh, it's a generic version of God. Yeah. Okay. So, you you want to know something else yeah. crazy? Mm-hmm. So you know those zodiac signs, right? Yeah, those zodiac signs. Yeah. Those uh, those zodiac signs are actually yeah. uh, are actually demons. Yeah. So and you probably already know. So when people are saying. The demon's name, and they're saying that they're, that that they are that those demons. God dang, <laughs> that they're those demons. The demons attach themselves to them, and yeah. that's how they act. And that's just crazy. So, like that's the like, sign. Nah, and people be like saying, "I'm this, I'm that," and you attach yourself to that, and that's right. what you become as a demon. Yep. You're giving that demon a way to live through you. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah, you're giving it permission, you know. So like when somebody say, Oh no, 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 I'm not, no. I'm I was just born on this day. <laughs> I'm not that. And you know your words are powerful yeah. too, man. Yes, it is. Words are very powerful. You know, you, you you give you give things life. You know, you cannot give uh things life that don't supposed to have life uh, into your into your life. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, that that is very true, you know. Uh I'm glad you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I had to, I had to have, uh, had to, had to give someone, um, some counseling about, about uh, working with tarot cards and and um, zodiac, the zodiacs and all of that. I said, I said, you know what? That's that's that ain't nothing but an instrument of the of the of the, of the enemy. Mm-hmm. And you know, if if God then you know give you give you a message to to you know to have a, a glimpse into the future then yeah you you know you just you, there's there's scripture about it you know so just go look into the scripture you know thank you man oh yeah oh i was gonna ask um so how has it been uh for you uh getting to interview like celebrities and other well-known people how has that journey been for you so far uh, what 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 I notice is, it, you know, I I I usually find find out that uh, a a lot of these these individuals they they have uh they have like real real personal stories you know real personal backgrounds that that are that are you know that are you know humble you know they 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 have real humble real real backgrounds that people don't take the time to find out about and um they're fragile you know they're just as fragile as me and you and um it it, it has helped me you know help me uh stay stay humble uh and um help me stay away from some of the things that they get exposed to you know, so you, you get you know it's been an educational journey. Um, so it so it, it's real good life experience. You know, so like I, I value I value the the life experience that God is living through me. You know, so I, I feel like God is kind of living this experience through me and allowing me to give this experience to others. Yeah, it's a it's a very good thing you do. You give everybody the opportunity to talk on your platform and to reach out to a new audience. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, because you know, my I, I see my job is you know it, it's not really to you know to to uh, do what everybody else is doing. You know, I you know I come to learn that my job is quite different. You know, so. I'm still trying to understand, <laughs> understand it. <laughs> you know, so God has still revealed everything to me. 
you know, so like uh, I think I'm still like only touching the surface of it. Uh, even with just just this interview right here, you know, and it, it, and it, and every in every interview doesn't feel like an interview. It's not. I, I don't even like using the word interview no more. Um, you know, it's just it's just the the industry lingo. Uh, so, you know, I, I hope at some point they remove the word interview and just call it conversation. Oh yeah, conversation. <laughs> conversations with DJ Potential. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, so, so when we talk about conversations, like what what type of what type of feedback from like the people that listen to your music, like how how has it helped them, and you know how has it helped them with they with they faith in you know things that like they find in their passions. Oh, some people like the visuals, so I'll give them like my um, videographer, and some people need like. A videographer like ways and stuff, so I get my videographer, and um, how it really helps them is it just inspires them uh, and increases their faith in uh, in Jesus and serving Him, and they're like, if I can do it, uh, they're like, if He can do it, I can do it too. And I, I've I've seen people actually say that, oh, if He can get up there and sing, I could do it too, and I just really like. Uh, I like how that can inspire people and and motivate them, and I, I feel mm-hmm. like it really helps them just like with their their confidence and their self esteem, because it seems like the people that I really connect with are really like the the underdogs, mm-hmm. and really like the people who don't really like have like high self esteem, like the people that don't really have like a like they don't feel like they have a word out there and like the confident people like for me like the archetype i am i'm like the charmer i don't know if you know too much about about that like in a, i've kind of dug deep in like the artist brand <laughs> so there's like a whole bunch of artist brands like how they connect with their with their audience and for me i'm the charmer and so like mm-hmm. i'll give you another example so like with Cardi b which archetype do you think she would be uh, huh? I'm not sure actually. I'm gonna be honest. I could I could tell you it would be the sexy ar- archetype. Okay. And the reason mm-hmm. why I say that is because of what she's using to influence okay. her audience. She's using like her uh body parts mm-hmm. to show such cleavage. And so I'll give you another example. So Alicia Keys, which archetype do you think she would be? She's not the sexy. She she'd be more, you know, more like a, of a heroine type. You know? Yeah, she'd be more of like uh, the lover or the inspirer. Yeah, she'd be like the, the inspiration. That's the mm-hmm. one. She'd be the inspiration. Which I'm like, I'm the inspiration and the charmer. That's me. Yeah. And the only reason why I was telling you more about that is so you can understand like how I connect with my audience. So I I basically make my audience like feel good and I would just inspire them to help them with their with their confidence and uh helping them believe that they can do anything they put their mind to. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we need some some uh some inspiration, man. And uh, you know, like you know, speaking of which, you know, like what what's one piece of advice you know, for a young Christian artist, you know, or even just an inspirational artist uh, who, you know, who hasn't made that jump yet, uh, trying to navigate their own path within within their music. Oh, I would say um, always believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. You're going to have good days and bad days. But as long as you just uh, do something small, then that means you did something. It's better to do something than not doing that at all. But just always keep keep the dream alive, always keep on going, always stay motivated. And, uh, it's always okay to relax and take a break. You don't always have to be like on the move. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been putting that into practice so uh myself. So yeah, that's that's definitely great advice. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of young people uh they think they are super superhuman so <laughs> they need they need that advice. Um, so tell us, tell us uh, where we can uh, hit you up at, and and uh, any anything you got coming up. 
um give us give us that uh shout 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 out anybody you want to shout out or you know whatever else you want to you know uh say uh during this little moment here oh yeah i was gonna say shout out to my uh team uh for helping me shout out, uh worldwide v uh, i appreciate you uh shout out mitro my marketing uh agent i appreciate you and shout out jay my marketing agent as well i appreciate you thank you for uh, helping me get my music video out there to like the grind uh that famous uh website uh i saw john and lucas on it so that was pretty cool that was the first accomplishment i had a friend uh i didn't even know it was on there one of my friends had hit me up and be like okay uh, good job elijah i see you keep up the good work and they had saw it on there on twitter and i was like oh wow that's crazy i wasn't expecting that and i, I definitely told him thank you because i appreciated that and um, you guys can uh, you guys connect with me on Instagram at uh, Sir Lige Official. So it's um, S I R L I J E O F F I C I A L. <laughs> well, yeah, and for, for everybody listening and watching, we will have it in the episode description too. So you know you won't you know you won't get get lost in the sauce. Uh, and let's let's get our Connect P mix listeners con- continue to involve. So if you're a Christian artist, tell us in the comments how you balance your music and in your faith. We would like to hear hear about that. You know, as that uh definitely uh would, would add some uh extra engagement to to the conversation and keep the conversation going. Uh do hit up uh Sir Elijah um and support our, our good brother. Uh we're gonna continue to support him too. Uh, we're going to, you know, roll out some additional uh, support for them. Uh, take this particular episode, uh, share it around, share it with a friend, family member, uh, if you haven't already. Uh, let someone know uh, that you heard it here first on the Connect P Mix Show with DJ Potential. And that's all we have for you today. Many blessings, peace, and lots of love. We out.